Ladies and gentlemen, and the stuck up of all ages, welcome to another installment of How To with M2. In this specific example, we're going to show you the fix for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, sedans, and light trucks from the 1990s on. I like to run my instructional videos in reverse order so you can see the problem before you attempt to fix it. Here we are inside the cover of the wiper motor and transmission assembly. Ford likes to call it a transmission, although it is a simple armature with some linkage. I am now completing the preliminary cleaning and blowing out of the armature and linkage assembly. Here you see the 12 volt DC motor one-directional running with the armature attached to the shaft. I'm now spraying it with WD-40 to see if I can loosen up the problem it is having parking the wipers. Normally when you turn off your wipers you will notice that they fall to a lower level and park themselves. This is accomplished by a simple catch and pull action between the armature rotor and the plate below it. Here, after it's been cleaned, you will see the incorrect way for the rotor armature to stop. This would leave the wipers in the full up position after turning them off. Here is the fix. First, I'm going to continue to clean the assembly and then blow it out once again. Be careful when you clean. You want to be sure to clean the upper, lower, bottom, and also the surrounding area. There is no damage mechanically here. It was just corrosion, crud, or debris that is stopping the rotor armature from catching on the correct spot on the plate below it. That may sound like a difficult thing. It is actually not. All the armature rotor needs to do is catch on a tab on the plate and fall back into the off position. Here we will watch it again. This is the wrong way for it to stop. Here is the correct way for it to stop. Wrong. And then right. Now after my first pass, it was intermittently stopping correctly and then incorrectly. So the first thing I'm checking for is its mechanical integrity by just simply wiggling it around to make sure everything is firmly attached and there are no cracks to the assembly. There is the culprit. This is the tab on the plate below that the rotor armature needs to catch to fall back into off position. Importantly, be sure that you get underneath the armature to be sure it is clean and that nothing is stuck there making it slide over the tab. Also when you lubricate, be sure to not over lubricate with heavy grease making the rotor armature slip over the tab. What I am doing now with a simple screwdriver is making the tab a little bit more edgy and sharp so that the armature rotor can better grab it. Then I will see if I've had success. You 
you now see that the rotor armature is able to park itself every time. I like to try it at least three or four times to be sure that it's consistently stopping in the right position. I like this lubricant better than grease for this type of assembly. This is just simple STP, high mileage oil additive. Lubricates, yet maybe a little sticky. Then, I'm using the blower again. If you have a compressor, you can just simply use the air to be sure everything is clean under the wipers and through the vent all around. Be a little careful when you do this. You don't want to blow any debris up on top of the manifold, especially the exhaust manifold. That could create a fire. Keep everything organized and keep it away. Now we are good to go and it gets its little blessing. Please pay close attention. As I mentioned, I have this video in reverse order. I'm now reconnecting the armature that moves both wipers. There is a peg and a hole. A clip will hold the peg over the hole. Using medical grade hemostats to hold the clip in place, I reattach the clip on top of the peg to hold it in place. You can also use latchable needle nose pliers or mini vice grips to do the job. Now I am cleaning the top piece for the housing. You will notice three plastic brackets which will snap in place holding this cover to the top of the housing. Also, you want to make sure to put the weather stripping back over the seam, which would be the back side of the enclosure. Here, I'm just lightly popping it back into place and putting the weather stripping back over the seam. I would not use any type of adhesive here because there's a good possibility down the road you will have to remove it again plus the hood presses down on this part of the weather stripping helping it hold in place now everything is back properly cleaned up and good to go please be sure to subscribe you will win the $100 good as cash Starbucks card which is randomly given out on the first of each month. And please be sure to be well.